So you're wondering how to earn free VC in 2K23? Here's five methods to earn tons of VC without spending any cash. Let's get into it. Method one, the daily mascot rewards in the city and the treasure chest on the goat boat. All right, we're getting in line on the daily rewards here. Let's see if we can get some VC off of this one. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Come on. Big bucks, no whannies. Big bucks, big bucks. Yes, and there you go, 750 VC just off the daily reward. Let's get it going. Method two, the daily pick'em. All right, so we're going up to the daily pick'em now. If you don't know how this works, you earn 100 VC for predicting correctly each NBA game that's happening that day or the next day. Sometimes they allow you to earn 200 VC for every correct pick, but you have to get them all right. If you're getting them all right, uh, you should go into a different business, a predicting style business. All right, moving on. Method number three, quests. All right, so as for your quests, once you complete the main quests, which I do suggest doing right away, just complete the main quests. Uh, you get tons of VC by playing those career games as well, so that's also gonna get you a bunch of VC. But get the main quests out of the way, and the reason why is because then your side quests, as far as your daily quests, are much larger, which means you can earn right here a ton just from the daily quests. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quests that you can do daily that all have about 500 VC attached to them. A few of them have 750 attached to them. And uh, so I guess seven without the Chris Brickley drills. But look at this one, 750 VC, 750 VC, and then 500 for all of these. These are daily quests. So you earn a ton of VC just from doing these daily quests. But there's more than just that. So if you do the MVP of the city quests as well, you can do the keep earning MVP points quests. And as you can see, I'm on number six, but basically that just means each of these daily quests that you do earn you tons of MVP points that all add up to that million MVP points. Once you earn a million MVP points, you earn 7,500 VC right there. So just in that little bit of quests, you earn tons. But wait, there's more in the quests. There's season quests as well. Once you complete the season quests, as you can see, if you do the season quests in the allotted time they give you per season, that's 2,500 VC per season quest. Now this is throughout the whole season, so it'll take you a little longer to get there, but just accomplishing that is gonna get you a ton of extra VC as well. So definitely do as many quests as you can do. Method four, 2K TV. All right, we're at the phone. You can access 2K TV in next gen from the phone or on current and next gen from the main menu. But for me, I'm gonna go through the phone here. 2K TV drops episodes weekly and they're full of answers that if you answer correctly, get you VC. I post answers to all of these 2K TV episodes on Saturdays. All right, so as you can see, you can answer these questions as well. I'm gonna go with point guard here and there you go 200 vc for the correct answer they come out with like anywhere from 10 questions to like 20 questions weekly so stay tuned on saturdays and i'll get you guys with those answers as well all right moving on and method five play whatever version of my career you have the most success in so even if it's just your my career games you'll earn tons more vc by winning those games than if you go in the park and win two out of ten games or something like that so whatever mode you win a lot of games in stick to that mode and get as much wins as possible that's it for me go get that free vc and i'll see you in the next video i'm out peace